Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings Well, hello and good frosty Saturday morning Early, up early at the time of this recording, of course. And right now we're gonna start the adventure right here at a place called Coronado State Park. I don't see any signs anymore, but this used to be the uh, largest homeless camp in Albuquerque, and they closed it. So I'm gonna start here, talk a little bit about this, show some pictures, then head north on second. Yeah, this was the largest homeless camp, at least in, in the downtown area, probably all of Albuquerque. And uh, the mayor decided to close it off. I think they did help them with some housing uh, as they transitioned them out of here. But what's cool is there used to be what is now the only operating steam engine uh, locomotive, which I did a, a video on a while back. But it used to be housed right here. Right here, it's Coronado State Park in a little fence. People used to come here and look at it, and the kids would climb on it. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with this park, but hope, hopefully it's something really nice. And there's a dog park across the street. I didn't even realize that. Huh. Got a little uh, skateboard park over there. Looks like they're cutting trees down for some reason. Well, I'll be darned. I think I got the answer to my question. Right there. Look through the bars here. Future home of Albuquerque Fire Station 4. Special Operations Training and Deployment Center. Wow. I'll be darned. Now, when they first closed, of course, the uh, homeless migrated right over there. Here's a picture of uh, uh, a whole group of homeless that got uh, sent away. You can see there's fence all around there, too. Right here at uh, 2nd Street and I-40, some pretty, pretty cool paintings. I had to stop and check out this old Chevy. Old Chevy. Isn't that cool? I like it. Very cool, rusty look to it. Some white walls. Love it. Of course, I like to check out old churches. No matter what denomination. From the bricks there, it looks like it might be a 1940s, 1950s or so. Ooh, had to do a serious illegal U-turn uh, type thing. Almost ran into a closed gate looking at that church trying to film it and I go oh <laughs> oh it's been one of those mornings uh, I'm gonna keep pushing on just got to keep pushing on
Now I remember being here before and I remember being attacked by ants. So this is nice to visit these guys without a bunch of ants. Right? Oh, you're busy. Hey, fellas, you helping your dad do some plowing? Oh, they're too busy. And this little person right here is guiding the horse. Hey, horsey. Doing a good job. Doing a good job. This pony is just running away. He's really tilting. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to go down here or not, but it's an open road. I'm just curious. Just curious what's down here. Bunch of icy roads, I see. Yeah. I thought the training academy was in, uh, was in Santa Fe. believe I've never been in a tractor supply company store I've seen them but I've never been in one let's go check it out I thought it'd be fun we'll see right, let's get some nice uh, barbecues Got everything here. Got some overalls and some boots and clothes for the country folks. Look at this little heater. That's something I could probably use this winter. Don't feel, I don't think I'd fit in there. Tons of feed and pet supplies. Pet beds. Whoo, smells like dog food. Check this out, pet wash station. Do it yourself. $9.99. Take your doggo in there and we'll wash her up. You can even get Frank's Red Hot Original. I put that on any of everything. Safes, barbecues. Ooh, look at that safe. Put my fortune in there, right? There you go. This is what I need. That is pretty cool. I like that. It's only eight grand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be so fun. Even a little Jeep would be fun. I know. <laughs> Some nice mowers. Wish I had a giant yard to mow. I'd pretend like I was Forrest Gump. Forrest, Forrest Gump. Well, that's the tractor supply company. 
like a little condensed Home Depot. I was surprised they had like uh, clothes and hats and all sorts of things. It's kind of a fun store, actually. Not too exciting, but hey, I like to say, now I've seen it. Now let's go explore a little bit more on North uh, 2nd Street. See if there's anything else worth checking out. Ah, uh, nothing like the North Valley. Nice and calm. Just outside of the city. In a very rural setting. Now the sign there said, do not park there for the bike track. Park at the community center. And I'm going, what community center? So it took me a bit, I have to go down to 4th Street. We're here at uh, Raymond G. Sanchez Community Center. There must be something going on because there's a lot of people taking up the parking spots. Uh, just wanted to go over here and check out the back side there. Oh, hilarious. I was going to take a picture of that, uh, that beautiful tiling over there, but all of a sudden, huge crowd came out and just covered it up. <laughs> that is hilarious. Burn County. Soccer field. Henry Gabaldon Multipurpose Field in honor of his countless contributions as a former county commissioner serving the North Valley community. The wind's kicking up and the sun's going down behind a cloud. Whew. Cold. It's quite a trek around the, uh, around the building back here, but I wanted to see the back side of this. This little motocross track. Pretty interesting. Bernalillo County BMX bike track. Look at all the berms and the whoop de doos. <laughs> Little map of it right there. Ooh, it's cold. Little picnic area. See the wind blowing there, hitting those trees. Ooh, it's cold. I guess the bikes climb up on all sorts of things. I think they used to call it trials, if I remember right. Get up on these little bridges, little ledges, try to stay on without falling over. And that big wood structure. You just come up and hit that sideways and just kind of do a quick U-turn in the air. Not that I'm an expert, but I've seen it. i seen it. Whew. Cold, cold, cold. I didn't think it'd be so windy cold today. Forecast calls for snow tomorrow or so, and... We'll see what happens with that. I was hoping to head down out of town, but uh, may have to hold off. We'll see. This old home here, that's pretty cool. There's Kay's All Swim School, 255 Swim. These people are boarded up on this side. Ah, now no one's over here. Let's go check out this tile work. Spirit of the Alameda Mosaic Tile Mural by artist Sam Leba, 92.
I like it. Like it a lot. I'm trying to face the sun, but I'm having a hard time finding it. It should be over there somewhere. But that's going to do it for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Walking around the cold, driving around, and seeing some interesting things, I think. If you like it, please hit that uh, like, comment, and subscribe. All those good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm getting a little low on subscribers. I need some help keeping the uh, channel going. So if it's in your heart, please hit that uh, uh, PayPal or the uh, Super Thanks. The little heart below there. Subscribe is there or there. And uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. I love sharing my, uh, my surroundings, wherever I am, with you and many people across the country, across the world. Now take care of yourself. Make it a great day, a great week. And I will see you soon, God willing. Bye for now.